our first topic for the day, and that is the Penguin on HBO Max is going to be rated R. The Batman movie, of course, is only rated PG-13, but this show on HBO Max is slated to be rated R. Rob, what are your thoughts on it? Are you okay with it, and uh, do you care? Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Like you, you and I are of age, though, so it doesn't really have any bearings on us. No, it doesn't. But um, yeah, it's it, it's interesting that they chose to go with the R and uh, not shy away from uh, you know maybe showing some full on blood and more violence than uh, maybe this uh, Batman movie ha- has. But uh, at the same time, it's like the things that we've been hearing about the Batman, it's like, it was apparently very close to getting an R uh, in general. And like, you know, even when you look at uh, its rating in a place like the UK that got, got the 15 uh, rating, I believe that's what it was called. The 15 rating where that just basically means that nobody on uh, under the age of 15 can go to see the movie. It's not like an a company thing. It's like just no, no, no one uh, 14 or younger can go and see the movie in the UK, which is, uh, crazy, but at the same time, like you know, it's cool that they're do- choosing the rated R uh, function for this because, again, se- hearing that so close, and you know, maybe they'll be able to do a few things that they couldn't do in the Batman because they didn't want to get that R rating, especially um, in North America, which is you know a big part of their uh, box office. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, and I think it uh, works very well. I think I was reading that they want to go. I read an article, an interview with Colin Farrell, and he kind of described how it's going to be about the Penguin kind of it takes place right after like the end of the movie and he's gonna he's gonna see him kind of work his way up the ladder of of the criminal underworld in in gotham and re- one article i read actually compared it it said like it would be like scarface that this show would be similar to scarface i guess it makes sense for a rated r uh well, especially if there's know. cocaine <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he wasn't even allowed. <laughs> Colin Farrell wanted to have a cigar, and he wasn't even allowed to have a cigar in the sh- in the movie. Oh. So there was a hard no on a cigar. Smoking is passe in Hollywood. I think it's okay. I mean, it's on HBO Max. I don't know if it's smart. I mean, the the Snyder Cut was rated R, and that did well for them. Suicide Squad was rated R, but Suicide Squad is a different world. Although, um, so I I don't know. I think it's okay that it's rated R. I just when you look at comic book properties like the Batman and Superman. And Iron Man, like these Spider Man, it's like, do they need to be rated R? And sure, this is a villain. And the Joker, the argument would have to be made that the Joker was rated R. And so, if you want to do it justice, the story of this character justice, you make this rated R. But then, if you bring him into a future Batman movie, and then you have to dummy him down a bit because the show's rated R, but the movie, he's got to be, you know, a nice, pleasant uh, penguin smiling about town, like, hey, I'm smiling, look at me, I'm a penguin. But in the show, he's like, I'm going to shoot you in the head. And he shoots him in the head. That's a weird discrepancy to me, but at the same time, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen either. Like you're saying, the reviews are saying that it's a very dark film, very edgy, very close, pushing the envelope, envelope, envelope of PG-13 to the R. It's somewhere it wants to be just past that. And so I guess it would probably feel natural for the show to be rated R. I'm looking forward to it. To it. But the one thing, though, it's, it's like James Gunn is like, he makes a Suicide Squad, COVID hits. He's like, nah, I just wrote eight episodes of of uh, Peacemaker, this Penguin show is like, they're like, yeah, we're still talking about it. It's like, just do it! Just, get, just, just do it! You know, if you <laughs> want to do it, just get it done. I can't wait to... I don't know. I'm a big Penguin fan, as you know. Looking forward to it. I hear his character... Uh, and actually, this isn't based on any of the reviews that are out today, but one thing I heard is that he doesn't... And it's from Colin Farrell mostly, is that he doesn't have much screen time, right? He's in like five or six scenes or whatever it is. Very minimal. He just wanted to yeah. be in the movie. So it'll be fun to see this character fleshed out. And look, I, like, I love the Penguin. I don't think the Penguin is a character that right away needs to be the, the head honcho of a movie. He, you know, show him in the background. Show him as a thug. Uh, and that's how I uh, I would like to see him portrayed. And that's how it sounds like he is going to be portrayed in this movie. Yeah, and you bringing up Peacemaker is a very good uh, comparison because, you know, that, that show is rated R. And it, and HBO Max in general seems to be working very well with these rated R type of projects, whether it's, you know, um, j- just like that or whatever that Sex in the City thing is called, right? Or... Um, uh, just the movies in general, right? Like Peacemaker literally with that, uh, the finale set uh, a record, right? For like, that's the most, that was the most viewed project that they've ha- had over there. Like episode that, 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 that came out uh, within the 24 hours that came out. So, I mean, it, R seems to work for HBO Max very well. And, you know, um, if they can, uh, you know, come up with the show and, you know, with, with, with Penguin and, you know, have him be a bit more violent and, you know, 
you and I were both fans of the Penguin, but there are a lot of people that aren't, right? So if giving Penguin, uh, you know, a harder edge, and by harder edge, I don't mean, you know, Danny DeVito Penguin where he's eating a fish and then, you know, making all these, you know, sexual reference jokes, like, uh, you know, and that's not even R, but it's like, if you can make him like, you know, intimidating, like, like a Tony Soprano and, you know, like the lovable like in that type of way then that's pretty big accomplishment i think for penguin because even though even though you and i are big fans there are a lot of people that think the penguin's kind of lame so if this they can yeah, make the always, show and, I, I and just, not make him lame then i'll be great i'm not sure how people think the penguin's lame because he's just a gangster and i think people just look at the uh adam west show a little bit too much and they don't know who the penguin actually is he's kind of a cool character above lame and he is one of the top of the rogues gallery but let's move on now to 